Hello, I'm Mr Burton and today we are going to be going through diminishing marginal utility and we're going to see how that has a direct influence on the individual demand curve for a good or service. Now I want to explore in a bit more detail why the demand curve for the individual is downward sloping at a decreasing rate. Uh, and this is because of the law of diminishing marginal utility, which we're going to look at now. So in this video, we're going to define diminishing marginal utility, explain the theory of diminishing marginal utility, uh, and we're also going to illustrate that on a graph. The law of diminishing marginal utility states that as a person consumes more and more of a good or service, the satisfaction gained or the utility gained from consuming that good or service uh, declines at each stage. Another way to put that in more basic terms is that as you consume more and more of a good, let's say, uh, lemonade, yes, you will gain more satisfaction from that, so you'll gain more utility, but it's going to get to a point where you're drinking that lemonade and your satisfaction gained is getting less and less each time and it might even start to actually decline completely uh, as you might get too full or you might be too full of sugar and not want any more of that lemonade. Another way I like to think of utility is just thinking of it as happiness. So how much happiness do I get from drinking lemonade? So we can show that on a graph using both marginal utility or marginal happiness and total utility or total happiness. So you may rightfully be wondering how we can measure utility or how we can measure happiness for consuming a good or service. Uh, you're right that it's not that easy to do that in economics, but we try and just simplify things by saying, well, drinking a glass of lemonade will, for example, give me you know, four happiness or five happiness on a scale of, of happiness or utility. Uh, clearly, we could measure it by my willingness to pay for the product. So if I'm willing to pay £3 for a product, that may show that it gives me a certain happiness for it. Uh, but in this case, let's just assume that my utility can be measured just using simple numbers. Uh, and that's what we do in economics. Okay, so firstly, we're going to look at my marginal utility for consumption. Now, marginal just means extra, uh, and utility in this case means happiness or well-being. So I'm looking at my extra happiness that I gain from consuming each quantity of lemonade. So my marginal utility, therefore, of consuming one glass of lemonade maybe is around four, let's say. Um, and then for my next glass, so for consuming my, my second glass, I might get a little bit less utility. And then consuming my next glass and my third glass give me less if, you know, each time. And my fourth and my fifth are giving me less. And actually, it's going to get to a point where after my fifth glass of lemonade, I'm actually getting minus utility. So I'm getting minus happiness. Maybe my first glass, I'm really thirsty. So that gives me quite a lot of utility uh, or happiness from drinking that. Uh, my next glass still gives me some utility, but not as much at all as my first glass, uh, but maybe I'm still thirsty. Uh, and my third glass gives me quite a lot less than my second, um, and then my additional glasses each time of lemonade is giving me less and less utility. So my utility is diminishing. My marginal utility of each glass is diminishing each time. To the point where on my fifth glass, anything more than that, I'm actually going to be getting minus utility. But we can also show my total utility from adding up all of these glasses together. So my total utility is looking at my satisfaction or happiness from consuming all of these glasses, so adding them all up together. So my total utility starts at four for my first class. My second one adds a little bit more on there, maybe here, and my third up to here, a bit more each time until we hit my fifth glass of lemonade and we know that therefore if my marginal utility for my fifth glass of lemonade is zero, it adds on nothing more, I must be at my maximum point of my total happiness because anything after my fifth glass will be taking away 
from my total utility. So what does that mean then? Well, it means that I can say that after my fifth glass, I'm getting minus utility. So my total happiness, my total utility is going to be falling. So I would probably stop consuming. Well, I would stop consuming if I was a rational consumer uh, at five glasses of lemonade. So why is this important for economics and for demand theory? If I know my marginal utility is getting less and less each time I consume an extra glass of lemonade, I'm not going to be willing to spend the same amount as I was for my first glass as I am on my fourth glass. Why would I spend three pounds on my first glass and three pounds on my second glass if my second glass has given me so much less than my first glass, that wouldn't make rational sense as an economist. Uh, so this diminishing marginal utility directly correlates to the willingness to buy a good or service and therefore the individual demand curve. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe below and comment for any other topics you want me to cover in my next videos.